Way back in the First of all, I'm not afraid of you. Then you got to back it up, though. Big left hook by Trinidad, and Vargas is stunned. Vargas is stunned and down. The left hook. Trinidad can't go to the wheel. He's not playing around now. Second knockdown for Trinidad. He's the one who said it would be. I mean, run into some adversity. Vargas kind of puts it on one. But what a perilous round. Larry, a look at the knockdowns. Stunned early in the fight. He has never been down as a professional prize fighter. Lee and quick as Tito Trinidad. And Trinidad did everything he could to finish it right then and there. Give Vargas credit for showing some stability and maturity. Take a couple of rounds if it goes there for Vargas to get his balance back. Another left he hand lands flush for Trinidad, and Vargas is stunned again. Vargas having trouble handling Trinidad through him. That's what he should be doing. There was a brutal body shot by Trinidad that set up this. And this is one of the first times you've seen Trinidad try to sprint early like this. Trinidad. Here's another look, Larry. At the end, so far, he's uh, than everything except diaper and again with a guy on the ball of his right foot. And he goes to the wrong with Trinidad's right eye. And now Vargas sees a chance and bangs away with the left. Running out. The young fighter seems to have gotten his feet under him. He takes a low blow and referee Gentito Trinidad. You gotta give him two extra points. And down goes Tito. On a big got Trinidad in trouble. He wasn't going to let him off the hook. He got another low blow. Second foul of the fight for Trinidad. And we'll see if Nady. Here's the knockdown, Larry. Here's the left hand that knocked Tito down. And from what I've seen in the corner, they're telling Tito that his eye looks okay. And now Vargas starts to get his jab going. And, and double left hook. And he seems just much more effective at range right now. A big right hand by Trinidad hit Vargas in the neck and destabilized him momentarily. And two more left hooks by Trinidad. Land at Vicks, CompuBox numbers. Trinidad, 27 out of 50. Got to understand that these ladder rounds belong to Trinidad. You've got to box him. Another low blow. Point deduction against Trinidad. So that's two points deducted. If form follows, it's Trinidad time. is you flirting with his pile up over the course of the fight for Felix. No, 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 no. Trinidad won the round, but lost the pull of corner. Talked him for five. Hurt from that left hook. And there's another one by Vargas. And this time he doubles the left hook upstairs. And maybe she hit him again in the same spot right above the... the 10 Jeez. seconds left in the round now. They come down the stretch of the round, and Vargas momentarily hurt. And he comes right down the middle with that right hand. Big left hook. Trinidad missing with two. He's done well with the swelling. He hasn't blown his nose. You want to make sure you throw up because you're in the middle of the ring. A right hand from distance momentarily wobbles Vargas. Another combination. Breaking Trinidad to the ribs. Right here, right here. It's toughness of Vargas. This is the strength of both fighters going at each other. This was Vargas. Run. I'll stand with him. I'll trade with him. I'll stay with him all the way. That's what Vargas does as he comes down the stretch in round nine. It easy. Vargas took some heavy shots there, and he spent a lot of himself, I felt, in recovering. The question now is... It's to go. Harold, both rounds were very close for Vargas. And the Trinidad fans go wild. One point. Remember, One point. there have already been two-point deductions against Make His Point. Mark Ratner, the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, was two seats away. Meanwhile, they're still busting each other face-to-face -face in the ring. And now, Trinidad has definitely had the edge in power. Pride and absolute determination all the time. Try to match my will. That's what Felix Trinidad says. There you go, Vargas. He's beating him to the punch and he's rattling him. He's got his heart. He's got his power. 
on the deck. Jim, there's no question. And in the last four rounds, Tito Trinidad has released three. Down goes Vargas on a big left hook. And up he score a knockout, or he's lost this fight. Down goes Fernando again. Three. Three. He's about to get knocked out. Barring a miracle here, it's going to be a closing knockout for Tito. Fernando trying to survive. Fires a couple of punches. And holds on like a skilled veteran. He's a veteran. And that'll do it. The third knockdown of the round. A huge victory for Tito Trinidad. He closes the show. Look at the three knockdowns in the 12th round with which Trinidad finished Vargas and finished the fight. Knockdown number one. Another brilliant left hook. The fight typical of the left hooks with which he began all this in creating two knockdowns back in round number one. A third look and another perfect left hand shot on the button by Felix Trinidad. Seconds later, the second knockdown and the one that made it clear that Vargas would need a near miracle just to finish the fight. Another clean shot with the left hook. For Trinidad. Point as a wobbly Vargas simply could not muster the skill and the will to stay afoot against Trinidad's assault. And a merciful Jay Nady not bothering to count, but rather stepping in to end the onslaught and spare the further punishment at the hands of the devastating Trinidad. 154 pounds. World champion Felix Tito Trinidad. 15 months since De La Hoya last fought. Tonight, at 154 pounds, can he shake off the rust? Hotly anticipated fights in our sport in recent years. De La Hoya is still on the light side of 30. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules of the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Ab. On Delo or on Vargas' body, and now Vargas lands a big left hook counter upstairs. Drives Deloy into the ropes. Deloy close to being knocked down there. Ducks and slips. Gets. Crowd chanting for Vargas, but early on, it's been Deloy. His trainer is to further develop his right hand and make him more. Punches landed cleanly, but they've made an impression. Those punches from Vargas are landing. Somehow, except for that brief interlude in the first round, which may have won Vargas the round. Dela Hoya may have drawn blood from the nose. Gets in a punch to the body as well. Big right hand by Dela Hoya. Vargas pop. Has Vargas found an effective way now to pressure De La Hoya. He was effective there. That was a borderline punch. Remember that from De La Hoya's nose. And Vargas gets him into the corner. De La Hoya does. De La Hoya is in for the fight. Now right, right hand by Vargas and the left hook lands behind it. Able for all of round six to stay off the rope. Catches two big left hooks as the round comes to a close, and then left. Oscar De La Hoya taking more put. Big left hook, and he lands it right behind the supposed absence of power. Visible. End of the round. De La Hoya feeling good about having a good round through that punch after the bell. Oscar does see what he want to do. Stronger man doesn't mean anything when you get hit with clean, quick punches that De La Hoya landed in that round. One with the left and one with the right. As far as Oscar De La Hoya is concerned, what he sees on Vargas' face right, is good blood. Blood from clean shots. Now De La Hoya in the sixth and seventh. Long ago. Boxing up. The drama builds him. He's had it, but he's more confident and more 
Uh, he, he really is trying to wear not to change left hooks with Delahoya. Big right hand upstairs again for Delahoya. And now Vargas begins to come back and shows the determination that has defined his beat Winky Wright in the 10th and 11th and 12th. He's done this too from Delahoya's nose. Again, the blood flowing from Vargas's feet. Big left hook hurts Vargas. Delahoya tries to follow up. Bell saves Vargas. Rounds, but like you called it, round six, seven, and eight, easy for us to end of the previous round. Has he given Vargas a chance to recuperate? I think if Oscar Bell does, Vargas on another rocket. Here is the highlight punch of the fight so far. A left hook following a combination to the body that staggers. Landed 23 out of 33 power shots. George, look at the left hook. I mean, you know, this is a tribute to Al Jazar and uh, Emmanuel Stewart. He couldn't win it the way he wanted to. He went back to his original, and it happened the way it always has happened since he was a teenager. Setting up the money punch which has yes. defined his career all along. It's a left hook. Much desire in Fernando Vargas. But a better fighter is beating him now. This would be the most satisfying moment of Oscar Delaware's career if he could finish this guy. If he could make Fernando Vargas eat his words. If he could knock him out and he dies. Oscar Delaware has the most satisfying question Deloy is desire rich guys can fight after all absolutely just the point I was about to suggest <laughs> with silk pajamas and all they no matter fight. how many hundreds of millions of dollars are in the bank silk pajamas had his original trainers this fight because they ended like that a lot earlier <laughs> combinations just like Alcazar told him to do when he was a teenager and Joe Cortez says that's enough Oscar has earned the technical knockout. Vargas wasn't firing back at the end, and give Delaware a credit. So many of us said, myself included, that he wouldn't have the punching power to do this at 154 pounds. We were wrong. Stay away from guys who eat caviar. Here's <laughs> <laughs> the tail of the tape. Difference in age, the younger Vargas. Again, he's fought the best of his era, as has Shane Mosley. Now, there's uh, nothing overly Nothing here. We use in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Give me good sportsmanlike conduct. Action right off the bat. First right was because of the back problems that he was having. And Larry indicated that he would be taking an anti-inflammatory. Good exchange. Body shots by Mo. Quite a bit of swelling over the left eye. Vargas seems to be really focusing on trying to get a straight left right hand lead uh, off on Shane. And Shane is catching him a lot. That's the right hand lead again. Good flurry by Shane. He seems to feel like the way he's fighting is as if he can just physically try to walk through Shane. The right hand lead again. Shane with the flurry, connecting on a couple. Fire is good, but you got to land the punches. Do you yield to the boxer's desire in that case? Because many were saying, why do that? Right hand there, by Mosley. Yeah, you're here to see Mosley through the right hand, but I don't see what, to me, they're having as much effect as they should have. Hands is landed by Shane, so that's all we saw. But I saw just as many right hands landed by left connected by Vargas. Crunches who's putting more hurt on the other guy. And I think Mosley has come back with a pretty good round after the last two. Excitement at the end. I think that Vargas's right hands are having much more power and, and effect than Shane's, even though Shane. He's standing right in front of Vargas. He's letting Vargas murder him in the body. Oh, watch your head. Watch your head. Come on, watch your head, guys. Right, right, right hand lead again. Five Vargas. Yep. 
And then Shane pressured him. You know, and some guys that years back, Joe Frazier, used to always look at him in the flat. I never saw him really as much of a boxer. It's those like flash combinations of him. Two he's, right. Uh, right. Moses working three consecutive lefts to the body of Vargas. And now a right to and that eye. And, and look at Joe Cartagena is right now getting on the It was more of a mind bet than a real bet. <laughs> Done well at that left eye. eye is giving him a lot of pain as well as, you know, uh, doing a number of his vision. Four shots to just nine of most. That's why I can see why Harold had him losing. I thought that Fernando won the last round, even though he was his eyes closed up, but I didn't see what Shane did too much. Shane continuing to work that that's eye, it. and Joe Cortez says, that's it. Yeah. Did not want to see that eye continue to take more punishment. One minute, 22 seconds of round number 10. The winner by TKO victory, Sugar Shane. Marcus asserts long and loud that a headbutt caused his injury in the first fight. And that Mosley the second time. Mosley will be 35 years old, September 7. Vargas will be 29. Fire. Any punch thrown on the belt line, upper half, will be considered. Very low blow. And Mosley talked to Kenny Bayless about it after Kenny Bayless said to Fernando to keep right hand over the top. They hold each other on one side and trade. Well, on the HBO unofficial scale, Fernando Vargas outweighed Shane Mosley by eight or 10 pounds coming into the ring. So the pattern of the first fight repeats to a certain degree here, as Vargas is the slower starter. How to separate them. Sleeping right hand landed for Shane Mosley. Vargas gets in a left to the body. It was a little bit low. Right here you see Shane landing the right hand similar to what he landed so often in the first fight. Because Vargas was coming in with his head bent forward where a lot of times he can't even see the punch coming on the side. Good hard jabs. Right hand lands for Mosley, he doubles up on the right hand. Shane Mosley's hand speed advantage immediately apparent here. So far for Vargas, he still hasn't landed a big clean shot. He's landing, he's pot shot, and he's fighting at the right distance right now, too. Slow break, breaking him up, but in the third round, Bale is starting to pull him apart, just like he usually got to do. Three to nothing, Shane Mosley. Talk about beating your man to the punch. You just saw yeah. Mosley beating Vargas yeah. to the punch mercilessly with the actor in the fight. He's got to go to plan B. Right here, you see Shane Mosley landing the right hand very similar once again to what he did in the first fight. And it's the same thing because Vargas has his head so much forward that it makes it difficult for him to avoid getting hit with those right hands. Okay, let's go, second. And there's simply... There's the right hand again. Leaving himself open for more jabs like that. And as a consequence, his other eye has opened up. Advantage for Mosley, entirely visible here. At the points and, and getting Dylan up a big lead. The copy box numbers in five. Mosley landing way more consistently. That's what he, that's what he did uh, most of the night in one of his best performances ever against Ike Quarte. Yeah, but Shane is just Shane. I, I was going to say Shane is going to him because he sees that he's too slow. And that's what it Vargas having tremendous difficulty responding to the left hook knockdown. Yeah. He was wobbly as all get out after the big left hook. He that's, takes the right hand. That's why Shane was going forward. And the forward. fight is stopped. Yeah. The fight is stopped as the, Kenny Bayless has seen it up. The fight is done and so. It, it's, it's up a great fight. I mean, this No knockout, championship. No championship. Doesn't have to be. Right, but this but wasn't for a championship. This in fact that Mosley has said categorically. He would not fight Mayweather this year. Uh, a lure that changes his mind. The fourth law of fighters of his era, one to Trinidad, one to De Oya, two to Do it now. Shane hasn't looked that good in a long, long time. 
There's the stoppage by Kenny Bayless. Fernando Vargas simply getting too much punishment, too consistently. The referee Kenny Bayless steps in and calls a halt. The winner by TKO victory from Pomona, California, Sugar Shea. He says that his trainer keeps asking him three things. Is my organ more talented? No. Is he stronger than you? He's actually still in his 20s. The rest of the numbers, pretty equal. Here a little bit. Vargas said, I'm gonna enjoy every minute of my last night in the ring, and these fans are here for a big party, but Mayorga looks like he wants to spoil the party. I don't think fouls, low blows, or fouls of any type would be a big surprise. covers up against the ropes right hand tries to I think the key punch in that whole exchange was the right uppercut which seemed to really rock Vargas that was not the bell it was the 10 second warning Raul Caiz like a true Mexican warrior I'll knock him out in two Vargas trying to meet him with left hand under I'm going to come to the center of the ring and invite him to fight Vargas at the beginning of this round looked as though he's willing to engage Mayorga in a fight. Body buckles the knees and now Mayorga is swinging away again as Vargas... Walking in without respecting Vargas at this point feels as though he's got things completely under control. Right hand pushes Vargas. He is flat-footed, not that he's a mover, but he's being of his legs underneath him. He's not dazed or anything. in the second round and you see that left hook and that knocked Mayorga off balance and, and Vargas looked a little bit encouraged at the end of the second round when he walked back to his corner Vargas charges out here to start round number three he says the final fight of his career Mayorga controlled and you're accustomed to seeing Mayorga Vargas bangs his gloves together and says okay let's fight and finally lands a good jab. Crowd starting in with... Right hand over the top. Mayorga nods. And again was able to knock Vargas off. Mayorga came out on the attack early. Scored a knockdown in the first round. Vargas had to find himself. He showed up in more technique in this fight. And his trainer, Luis Leon, told me yesterday that they work on technique and it's his best of the fight. Vargas getting some good work done. And referee Raul Caiz is letting some of those blows stray a little bit low. Good work done to the body there. That left hand to the body ended up driving a Mayorga back. There you see a little right hand low. And another overhand right. I thought I thought Vargas was having good, good success with that overhand right. Of course, a 10-8 opening round for Ricardo Mayorga after four rounds. The third round I gave to Vargas was very close though, and one you could make a case, I think, for either guy. So if the judge happened to give that third round. <laughs> the two still talking to each other. He, the fight is closed, but they're giving him that round. Now it's the seventh round. you got to make up the difference now. All right, now early in the round, you see Mayorga following his jabs in and then surprising Vargas. Eduardo Garcia, and Garcia said, you're going to... Right hand from Mayorga. Uppercut war with the right hand. A little shuffle, and then a flurry, and the cough. Extreme swelling that night against Sugar Shane. This cut here started from a right hand from Mayorga. Low right ball. hand from Vargas. And Mayorga holds on. Miguel Cotto at Madison Square Garden. He was just mobbed here tonight. Fans were all over Sugar Shane. I want me.
The question is now, Joe, was that that was a, the best shot, which hurt Mayorga, was about 30 seconds before the end of the round. That was a round that for two minutes and 30 seconds. He has also reached a very important part of his career, especially if he wants to continue door. Mayorga fires off the right uppercut. Having an effect on Mayorga, I believe. Oh, from Staples Center. Is everything all right? You got two, three more rounds. Long punches by Mayorga. Shot down in a fashion where he can actually get hit towards the back of the head. I believe this fight is still for Fernando, for uh, Ricardo Mayorga at this point. Two point lead on my score. Dropping right by Mayorga. Still being the 10-8 opening round by Mayorga. Did Vargas do enough? That's all balance. That's all. Yeah, that was all balance. It's because you're not jabbing. When he got hit with that right hand, and finally again, as it did early, was a little bit off balance, and his legs betrayed him, and he went back, his legs flying into the air. Sometimes that's a big mistake. And he raised his hands when he came out for the 12th round. Fernando Vargas. Pushes him back. He should have used some of And delivered more of it than we ever thought. They went the full 12. Middle rounds. And then in the 11th round, when it appeared that Vargas could pull even, according to our ringside scorecards, instead, a knockdown with just seconds remaining, scored by Ricardo Mayorga. Much anticipated main event entitled the brawl. A fight that few thought would go this far, but it did in great fashion. And we send it up to the ring now to Rich Murata. Rich.